is the new X-Tool S1 40 watt diode laser as powerful as a desktop CO2 laser. What is up? Welcome back. Do you like to do it, build it, or make it? So do we. And we have new videos each week. This is the new X-Tool S1, the world's first fully enclosed 40 watt desktop diode laser. Now when we first got this laser, I really wasn't sure we needed another laser, especially a diode laser, and I really didn't know what we were going to use it for. Oh, we do need more lasers, <laughs> and I'll figure out how to use them. Well, now we know. We know how we're going to use this laser, and we want to show you and tell you all about it in this video. If you're new to lasers, or you're looking for a powerful, flexible desktop machine, this might be the one for you. This machine has swappable laser heads. It has a 40 watt diode laser head, can be swapped to a 2 watt infrared laser head, or a 20 watt diode laser head. This thing has all of the safety features. It's fully enclosed. It's got the green tinted glass so you can still see your project. It has the lid open safety feature. It has the tilt and impact safety feature. It has an emergency stop button, and then it's got five fire safety sensors. All starting at a $2,200 price point. What I was most interested in was the power and the cut area. This thing is 30 inches wide, 22 inches deep, seven inches tall, and she is a petite 44 pounds. <laughs> the cut area is 19 and a half by 13. But if you add that optional automatic conveyor system, you can cut 19 and a half by almost 10 feet long. It also works with the RA2 rotary tool as in another accessory so that you can do tumblers. So the first thing that I notice, no camera. I thought all desktop machines came with a camera these days. But what it does have is a dual point positioning system. You'll measure the top right corner, the bottom left corner, and it'll know exactly the cutting area size that you're working with. This thing does have autofocus. It's similar to the larger machines, except it resets every time. So you'll be able to autofocus on your material, even do 3D. It uses a pin to measure the depth of your materials, so it allows you to do curved surface engraving. Setup only took about 30 minutes. I just had to remove some stoppers from the rails, install the laser head, add the hose to the back, And then I added the optional air assist to make even cleaner cuts. So for that, I just plugged in the power cord to the back of the laser and an air hose into the back of the laser. I was up and running in about 30 minutes. I started with the sample project that XTool provided. I used the three millimeter birch that came in the sample materials pack with the machine. I followed all the directions and all the settings. I wanted to understand how that dual point positioning worked as well as the autofocus head. I followed all the instructions as written and I got this little cute phone stand here in about 10 minutes. Now for what we've all been waiting for, will it cut quarter inch MDF? Well, we're going to start by making a test cut card. You should always make a test cut card. That way you'll know the best settings for that material. We're going to start at 80% power and work our way up to 100% power. We're also going to start at 5 millimeters per second and move up to 10 millimeters per second and figure out what's the best setting or if it will cut this quarter inch MDF. I am impressed. You could knock me over with a feather. I did not expect to see this many empty circles. I thought maybe three, but wow. I mean, I was getting through at eight millimeters per second. What's that, 85% power? I could probably push this 80%. I did, I just pushed the 80% power <laughs> one right out. Um, very impressed. I am so impressed. I was also super impressed. I thought we were gonna be at five millimeters per second, 100% power. But no, I, mean, I think with our... that said, nine millimeters per second just fell out. I think you could get away with nine millimeters per second at 100% power. 
But man, yeah. Yeah. Shocked. It really Shocked. did a great job. This is all one pass. Have you seen our 3D door corner video? Well, those have been hot sellers at the craft shows. You could probably make an entire booth of nothing but door corners. Well, we have a new design and we're gonna do a test cut using this X-Tool S1. Here we are in X-Tool Creative Space. Garrett has loaded our project into the cloud. So we're gonna click the cloud button, click our project, and it's gonna load it directly into Creative Space. Now we've already loaded our eighth inch MDF into the laser. So the first thing we're gonna do is set the focal distance by clicking on this measure button over here. The pin on the side of the laser head drops down and the head lowers to touch the material, which calculates the thickness of the board. It then resets the pin and it's ready for cutting. Next, we're gonna click start marking to set the board size. We're going to move our laser head up to the top left of the board. And that is gonna set vector one, which is the top left position. And then we're gonna hit the start button on the laser. Now we're just gonna drag the laser head to the bottom right of our board, press the start button, and that'll set the bottom right section. Now you'll notice in Creative Space, there's a green box around our entire project. That is our board size. Next, we're gonna set our cut and engrave settings. We're gonna start with layer one, our cut layer. We're gonna set that to 70% power, 10 millimeters per second, and then we're gonna leave lower the focus off on this because it's a relatively thin material and one pass. Next, we'll click framing and press the power button on the front of the laser to outline our project cutting area on our board. And I didn't share the score settings. We did use 50% power and 150 millimeters per second for scoring that blue layer. Now we're ready to click process loads it into the laser and click start. Next, we're gonna cut our quarter inch pieces. So we've loaded that board in. We're gonna move our eighth inch pieces off to the workspace area. Go over here and grab our quarter inch pieces and move those into the workspace area. Now this is still set for the eighth inch board, that green outline. So the first thing we're gonna do is set our focal distance for the quarter inch MDF. Resets the pin. Next, we're gonna set our vector one and vector two by moving our laser head to the top left, pressing the button, bottom right, press the button. Now it's gonna redraw that green rectangle, even though it looks the same. And here you can see our image is a little too big for our workspace area. So we're gonna tilt it just a little bit so everything fits on here. Easy as pie. And then we're gonna go ahead and set our cut and score settings. So our cut settings are 80% power and seven millimeters per second. Now, because this is a thicker material, we're gonna go ahead and lower that focus so that it'll cut through a little bit easier. For our score settings, we're gonna set this at 50% power and 100 millimeters per second, and we're gonna leave lower focus off. And I'm so confident that this is gonna fit on the board, I'm just gonna click process. Now total, this only took about 23 minutes, 16 minutes for the eighth inch and seven minutes for the quarter inch. And it popped right out of there. This thing is so space saving and so light, mainly because it doesn't have the CO2 tube, which means there's also no coolant. So you don't have to mess with either of those things, which I think also makes it more durable. To use the RA2 rotary tool and the automatic conveyor feeder, you will have to add the riser base, which makes it a little bit taller, a little less portable. So this thing is light enough, small enough, but powerful enough with a large enough cutting area where I think I could take this thing to the craft show. I think this thing can go toe to toe with the X-Tool P2. Especially with that conveyor system and the rotary attachments and the changeable heads. This thing has all the bells and whistles. But none of the size and space needed for all of those bells and whistles. I think this is a, 
I am impressed, I am still impressed that it got through the quarter inch MDF so quickly. Big thanks to all of our patrons. That is the best way to support this channel. Join us over on Patreon where you have free files, a monthly Zoom call, and even access to a super secret Facebook group. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, tick that bell to be notified of our new videos each week. And with that, we're about out of time. Kim has to go drink some wine. She needs some wine therapy. Ooh. I'll see if I can balance a door corner. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You still got it. Still got it.